Well, actually, I stayed in NEDA only for three months. I was confirmed in early October. By the end of December, I was already yanked out of NEDA to go to the Department of Finance. So I did not really stay very long at NEDA. My recollection of NEDA is that almost as soon as I was sworn in, I'd been confirmed by the Commission on Appointments, I was immediately thrown to Australia. So my first act as NEDA uh, Secretary General was uh, to travel to Australia. That was because I was the most junior of all the cabinet secretaries and all of the senior cabinet secretaries were going with President Aquino at that time for a state visit to Canada. And there was an urgent invitation from Australia to be represented by a cabinet minister. And it was the one that was available on a topic that nobody knew anything about, including me. And the topic was APEC. And I was given full powers. So what I remember very distinctly is I had no instructions. Therefore, what I did was to make decisions in behalf of the Philippines according to my best lights. And before I knew it, the Philippines had become a founding member of APEC and I was the minister or the cabinet minister responsible for doing so. And what I remember distinctly was that coming back to the Philippines and reporting to the cabinet and I was asked, what did you do in Australia? I made the Philippines a member of APEC. Nobody knew what it was. And so everybody just smiled and said, okay. So that is how we became a member of APEC. We have to think in terms of uh, the Philippines post-COVID. Uh, everybody tells us the world is changing and it has changed and it will continue to change. And what should we be positioning ourselves towards? Two things which NEDA can take a lead in. First is we have always been talking about regional development, but maybe we have to give flesh and substance to it. And that simply means that uh, NEDA will have to take an active lead in organizing multi-sector development consortia, bringing all of the major sectors of society not just government, it's the whole of society approach. And for every region to begin thinking, what is it that we should really position this region for in a post-pandemic? And one thing which is very clear to me is food security is important. That can be done at the regional level to a very large extent. And I think also we have to take a lead in climate change challenges, which simply means that uh, there's a massive challenge before us. And so maybe we have to take that into account. But taking it into account, Not a way, and that is on a comprehensive manner. So food security and climate change are specific challenges that I think NEDA can substantiate in a much more positive way. I was surprised that NEDA is 85 years old, and that means it's older than I. That makes me feel good. And it simply means that this was established even before we were an independent republic. And that means that there's a long heritage and therefore a long tradition to keep and to build on. NEDA has been serving the country for many decades, and uh, we ought to be thankful that NEDA has existed all of these different decades. Uh, the record of the Philippines may, may not have been very good in the past, but of late, It has been fantastic and we have improved significantly from our record from the 1950s all the way up to the year 2000. So this has been a good century, the first two decades of the century, and uh, a good portion of that can be attributed to NEDA. So congratulations and we wish uh, that NEDA could continue to serve the Republic in as competent and professional and helpful a manner as it has done in the past. Well, NEDA has to be very conscious of one fact, that you are focused on the public sector. And within the public sector, NEDA is really focused on the public investment program of the Philippine government. You have to go beyond the thinking in terms of we are connected with government, we are focused on the public investment program. We have to do things in such a way that in fact, it's getting all of the sectors of society to share the NEDA dream of building the Philippines as Filipinos would like it to be in 2025 years. Now, that is not a perspective that you will find with other government agencies. It is a perspective that should be with NEDA. And it is that perspective which NEDA should be spreading throughout the Philippines with a very longer term perspective. All of the sectors of the economy, all of the regions of the economy will have to play a major role. And your task at NEDA is to specify what that role is going to be. Happy 85th anniversary for NEDA and every good wish to every NEDA and every member of the NEDA family.